Tired of clicking through menus in Adobe Illustrator? These six keyboard shortcuts will change the way you work. So let's dive right in. Shortcut number one is Make Blend. This creates a smooth progression between two objects. So I select the yellow swatch, shift select the red swatch, and press Ctrl or Command, plus Alt, plus B. Instantly, Illustrator generates a blend that looks like a color gradient, but made from vector shapes. To convert these into editable objects, I go to Object and Expand Appearance. Shortcut number two is Clipping Mask. This shortcut lets you mask any image or graphic inside a shape. In this example, I'm using a vectorized Nike logo and a high-res celestial background in. But before that, there's a crucial step. I need to turn the logo into a compound path because Illustrator only allows a single shape to act as a mask. So I select the Nike logo, then go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. Now Illustrator sees it as a one clean shape. Next, I position the Nike logo on top of the celestial image. With both selected, I simply press Ctrl or Command, plus 7, and instantly, a perfectly clean clipping mask is created. Shortcut number 3 is Copy and Paste in Place. I start by selecting the logo and pressing Ctrl or Command, plus C, to copy it. Now instead of using the regular paste, I hit Ctrl or Command, plus Shift, plus V. This tells Illustrator to paste the object in the exact same position on the new artwork. To make sure the logo stands out, I change this color to white on the darker backgrounds. Number four is a visibility trick called the transparency grid. Controller command plus shift plus D toggles it on and off. Ever exported something with weird white backgrounds? This shows you exactly where your artwork is transparent. It's super helpful when designing logos, stickers, or any file that needs a clean cutout. Shortcut number five is the width tool. Here, I've got a simple ice cream illustration with flat colors and round outlines. It works, but it feels a little bit stiff. So I press Shift plus W to activate the width tool. Now I zoom in, hover over one of the curved strokes, and click and drag to adjust the thickness you'll see it creates this elegant taper, thicker in the middle and thinner on the ends. Shortcut number six and our final one is create outlines. Here, I've got a logo built with a fun and bold font. It works, but it's just text, meaning I can't stretch it, shape it, or customize it freely without messing with the font settings. To turn it into a fully editable shape, I select the text and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus O on my keyboard. Now it's no longer a font, it's a group of editable paths. This gives me complete creative control to build a custom logo type that's truly my own. And these are my top 6 shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. Let me know which one was your favorite and share with me what shortcuts I should add to my workflow in order to help me get better at Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed it and cheers everyone.